Ghana's housing deficit is currently assessed as well over 2 million. And whereas the annual housing requirement is about 250,000 units, supply figures are about 45,000 units per annum, holding all factors constant. It is in the light of this that the government is embarking on a housing program aimed at facilitating construction of 250,000 housing units yearly over the next eight years through public-private partnership. The growing incident of slum development in Ghana has been the result of the rural urban migration. Everybody wants to live in Accra. Limited supply of land and regulatory frameworks that are at best indifferent and hostile to the needs of the poor. Even though Nima and Mamobi routinely suffer from inadequate provisions of basic facilities such as housing, water, electricity and drainage systems, the communities continue to grow. The President's commitment to slam upgrading of Nima and Mamobi was stated forcefully in his message of the state of the nation eloquently and elegantly delivered in Parliament on the 20th day of February 2019. The transformation of approximately 1,039 acres of prime land which Nima and Mamobi occupy will give meaning and beauty to the present vision of inner city and Zongo development. To this end, we are collaborating with the Ministries of Lands and Natural Resources, inner city and Zongo development to make the aforesaid area a world-class residential enclave close to Jubilee House, the seat of government. And I want to stress this for the benefit of those who enjoy propaganda without dislodging the good people who currently dwell in Nima and Mamobi. We make Nima a world-class residential area. We give the Nima folks a good place to live we don't ask them to go to any other area. Alongside them will be world-class housing structures for Ghanaians to use. I was on for yet to work as a bono as so and share ye and as so ye and share and some numb and a hunts and some so I didn't send me to just say. They said, Yes, they be 